Good afternoon, brethren. Today is March 21st, 2018. I am being prompted to come forward and speak an urgent word. This is very important. Please hear with your ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is revealing to the church. I want to start by giving all praise and glory to Father Yahuwah, our Mashiach, Yahushua, and the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, for imparting wisdom and knowledge. Many of Father's servants have sounded the alarm of the things that must come to pass before the Great Tribulation, in which the bride is not appointed to his wrath. There is no, vo no way to voice this at this time other than firm. Please, get your households in order now. Buy crucial necessities now. Our local Walmart has had eerily empty shelves. Yesterday, I went into town with my daughter, my granddaughter. I discovered there were over a dozen containers that had been drop shipped behind the store. Please, consider the left behind brethren. Be wise. Have a family plan. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 45, King James Version, the living word tells us, Who then is a faithful and a wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Please hear this with ears to hear. Today, moments here ago, not even an hour ago, after I had shared that clip about Costco and how they're selling doomsday kits. Lisa Haven is reporting today, and it is entitled, America Ramping Up, The Unprepared Will Die. Food shortages hit home as globalists prepare. I'm going to play that here for you so that you understand. Father is having many of his servants in different positions sound the alarm. Please take heed. Think about because we doesn't really we give a on. full reason as to why they do that, but they definitely have that. Think about by the year 20, I think 2025, what many globalists believe is they are preparing for catastrophe with their bunkers, uh, some moving to New, New Zealand, some staying here at home, preparing, but I've done multiple reports on this, but I have to give you an update because so many new things are happening right now with the empty shelves in grocery stores and grocery stores going bankrupt, and I'll get into the reasons why in a moment, uh, but here's the thing, America is on very unstable ground uh, right now, and many could possibly die in the future as a result of some kind of food crisis. We've already hit uh, various forms of water crisis. But let me show you, let, let me show you the actual report so you don't have to take my word for it. But again, this is one reason why I'm a huge preparer. I have a food storage. I encourage you to get food storage. I use uh, my Patriots supply here. They've got great nutrition, no products. So check them out in the links below. Also another reason why I use Noble Gold. Uh, this is not food, but you have to have things to barter with. Uh, this is also why I say you should convert your 401ks, uh, but gold, silver, precious metals are all important during these days as well, but Noble Gold Investments, you can find that below. But let me take you straight to the reports because this is where the majority of it lies, and I want you to just watch it through the end because I'm going to show you a ton of information. The first report comes from the Washington Examiner. It was just put out in March 2018, titled Official Washington Flocking to Doomsday Kingdom. Camp. Now, the report goes on to detail that members of top United States intelligence agencies such as FBI, CIA, and DIA are getting ready for doomsday. Now, a building network of backwoods doomsday camp around the country are pulling in members from affluent areas and even Washington national security officials as the threats are increasing from nuclear war, EMP, or even virus attack, which are listed as main fears for some of these people going into these areas, uh, but also police political violence, and food shortages as well. But if you want to add a little fuel to the fire, uh, check out this report. This was put out recently on Bloomberg, March 19th, but it's titled Supermarket Bankruptcies Are Beginning to Pile Up. Now, the report states that regional chains are filing bankruptcy. This includes so Southeastern Grocers to the owner of Winn-Dixie to Bilo Supermarket Chains to Top Friendly Markets. Now, Southeastern Groceries are shutting down a 94 total of their 700 locations. That's about a seventh of the grocery chains there. Top friendly, they have about 170 stores.
stores all on unstable ground. Add to that the fact that Kroger and Walmart are reporting over $30 billion in losses. This could wreak havoc on our food structure, increasing food prices or uh, even less, you know, going to the grocery store and not getting all the things that you need. This is uh, something that we need to keep at the forefront of what's going on. Not only that, but check out this report from early January. This is on Business Insider, uh, but it's er entire aisles are empty. Whole Foods employees reveal why stores are facing a crisis of food shortages. Now, this article actually blames the shortages on a newly implemented inventory management system called order to shelf or OTS. But the point is that the stores are constantly running out of items that they don't have stock on their shelves. Now, obviously, Amazon's opening of the grocery sector is also adding a little fuel uh, to the fire. But check out this report on eater.com uh, and it's Amazon changes to Whole Foods mean empty shelves and fewer local produce. Now, this is bad for those who, who make those local produce in the area because that is the healthier food. When you can get it local, you can get it fresh, you can get it organic. That's what we need. And that's the exact type of, cha type of chain uh, that Amazon just took over versus a Walmart that gives you junk food a lot of the time. They're taking over an organization like Whole Foods there. And that's what I find worrisome. But let's not forget we were actually warned about this uh, just a few years ago by retired Lieutenant General William Boinkin, who said to True News Radio back in 2016, and I quote, the dam's going to break in our economy. And I think when it does, there's going to be a major disruption of the distribution of food. And I think that we'll see, particularly in the inner cities, uh, is you will see riots, civil unrest that ultimately might justify martial law. But let's not forget about the bee crisis. I've done entire reports on this. There's actually groups. Um, IPBES is a group that monitors some of the things that are going on with the bee population. They have charts, they have graphs, uh, all of this included. But there's even a disorder, the uh, colonial collapse disorder, a disorder that's affecting our pollinators. And if our pollinators continue to die off, well, we're going to have a really big crisis there because then who's going to pollinate the food? And we could be running into some major issues with our food there as well. But IPBES... Uh, says that says that the decline can wreak havoc on our food supply. So something again to keep in the back of our minds. But I also have brought up a memorandum NSSM. It's called the National Security Study Memorandum, and this memorandum was put out during the Nixon years. Kissinger put it out. I'll toss it up on the screen. Uh, but it outlines implications of world population growth and how to deal with the human problem. And if you scroll down to page eighty of the report, it promotes the idea of using war, famine, birth control to limit populations and even entertains the questions like, quote, should be, should food be considered an instrument of national power? And is the United States prepared to accept food rationing? to help people who can't or won't control their population growth? Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and share that link here in just a moment. Um, but I do want to go over um, this verse that Father wants me to read. And that is in Matthew chapter 24, verse 5 through 13, King James Version. Uh, give me just a moment here. So, and it reads, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you not be troubled. Excuse me, just one moment. Let me try to get this. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And these are the beginning of sorrows. Please pay mindful attention to detail. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then... Shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my namesake? And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Brethren, 
Think logically. Why would so many be people be so offended if we were all taken up immediately? Now, mind you, this isn't the great wrath. This is not the great tribulation. If you continue to read, you see that. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound. Iniquity being lawlessness, the utter disregard for the living word. The love of many shall wax cold, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. We also read in Matthew 24 that the elect is not appointed to wrath. That is why it says the same shall be saved. He that calls upon the name of the Lord. He that perhaps was not ready before the rapture. He too will be saved. And yes, just as it is written, there is a remnant and they will go through refinement. They will go through purification because they were not ready at the time of the rapture. But please let us think mindfully of our families and our friends being left behind, whoever they might be. Let us be considerate and loving and think, do we not maybe need to prepare for them? I think we really, really need to entertain this today. It's very important because we're seeing a lot of empty shelves at grocery stores. I can't be witnessing this all on my own. And Lisa Haven can't be witnessing it in her area only either. It's very important that we be wise servants. Just as I read to you, it is written who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. Will you be a wise servant? Please, brethren, I am pleading with you, body of Christ, enough with the rapture date setting. It is leaving many discouraged because we're not those who are putting out those words saying the rapture is now, now, now. You clearly are not reading your Bibles. And I say it to you in love because I want you to be reading your Bibles. Father wants you to read your Bibles so that you, as priests, have knowledge on your lips. Please, utilize your podiums correctly with knowledge. With knowledge, please. I love you all. I love you all very much. I apologize for the screen. Nevertheless, please, please make a plan with your families. Please get together with your families and have a family plan, an emergency plan. Get your food kits now before there's no food on the, on the shelves. Please. Father has voiced several times that scarcity comes quickly and brutally abruptly. Please get your things now for your family. I love you. May Father Yahweh bless us all.